People in eastern Ukraine remain under a barrage of shells launched by government forces. Kiev says it's targeting rebel fighters, but residential areas continue to be hit. Right, in one of the latest attacks, a large chemical plant employing 3,000 people came under fire. And it's not the first time it's been hit by army shelling, as our correspondent Paula Slier found when she went to the site. The Ukrainian army is closing in on the city of Donetsk, which is the heartbeat of the anti-government fighters. This is Makievka, some 25 kilometers away. Two chemical plants came under attack, bringing the war to a new level. Fire raged in the Donetsk region, not far from the deadly sites. We're at one of the largest factories in Ukraine of chemicals and coal. And as you can see, it has come under shelling. You can actually still smell in the air this smell of burning. And there's also the constant fear that at any moment now, the Ukrainian military will shell again. We are trying at least to get to the center of Donetsk, because here it is too dangerous. A shell fell just there. Let me show you where. This is what is left of the shell. But others fear another Chernobyl could be on the horizon. The Donetsk region has nearly 4,000 dangerous factories and facilities. A hit on any one of them would pose a threat to the entire area, an indiscriminate punishment to fighters and civilians alike. We're talking about hours uh, before they degraded in the atmosphere. Um, a lot of the chemicals we're talking about here, which are the um, chlorine-related uh, acid fumes uh, and possibly phenolic fumes. The risks in most of these cases will be um, short-term acute problems, uh, so there could be respiratory irritation. Residents nearby the plants are not taking any chances. It's been dangerous here since the morning. Some houses have been hit on the edge of the neighborhood. This is part of a rocket that was fired from a Grad missile launcher. More and more of these are landing here in civilian areas. Paulus Lea RT, Makievka, Eastern Ukraine.